Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got all the details from the post-game press conference with Coach Prime Dion Sanders, Shutter Sanders, and Travis Hunter after Colorado's thrilling win over Baylor. Hey guys, what's up? I hope everyone will be fine. Please hold on to subscribe our channel until you like it. So today we'll discuss some top storylines, controversies, and headlines from the greatest NFL teams. Please like and share our videos, and let's start with Shader Sanders gave a breakdown of the miraculous Hail Mary play that led to the win, connecting with LeJonte Wester. It was a perfect execution in a high-pressure moment, and Shador shared how they managed to pull it off. Travis Hunter also chimed in on the Hail Mary, explaining his role in creating the opportunity. I told Coach, let me go to the side by myself to give our guys backside a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. They had three people on me, but I trusted the process. His strategic thinking and trust in his teammates were key to the Buffs' victory. Definitely, we knew, um, well, I told the running back, I said, hey, look, do this with everything you got, bro. <laughs> Seriously, I told him, I said, come on, bro. Do everything you gotta do. So I knew uh, we was getting a lot of pressure, so I was like, okay, cool, we're gonna roll right here. So let's go ahead and roll. Put Travis backside, he gonna get all the attention. And LeJounte just gonna be there outside, one-on-one. -on -one. They not gonna think we're gonna throw him the ball because he's like a shorter guy probably in that situation. So then I rolled left. Everybody went in the middle of the end zone. And I just trusted God. <laughs> I just threw it up to God and God answered the prayer for sure. apologize to the opposition the way we stormed the field and I didn't get an opportunity to go and uh, shake the head coach's hand but I did try to go over to the locker room and uh, wait it out until he came out but I don't think they got the word to him because that's not professional I wanted to shake his hand and acknowledge but I don't like what transpired at the end of the game but I love what transpired at the end of the game we have a fan base that's phenomenal we have some young kids on this campus that loves and, and breathes CU football, and I'm thankful. Uh, I told Coach to uh, let me go to the side by myself because I know <laughs> they'll have more people over there on me, and they give our guys backside a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, which they did. They did exactly what we thought. They had three people on me, and everybody else backside had a one-on-one -on -one chance. So I just know sometimes you got to step back and let, let the team go ahead and play their role and let them come down with a good play. So I trusted the process. So at the end of the game, you can see, I mean, at the end of the play, you can see me already halfway over there because I'm expecting the ball to go over there already. Where would you say your sense of resiliency comes from? Feels like you keep popping back up there time and time again and just don't really flinch. Where does that come from? You don't have an option. That comes from your parents, how you was raised. You know, like you don't have an option to fail. Like that's 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 a non-negotiable. So it's like you know when people say, "What's your plan B?" No, it's it's only football. That's the only plan there is. I don't have a trust fund. Dad ain't set me up good like that. But I'll make sure I set up my kids. You know what a trust fund is. Baby. <laughs> We're gonna have to take one. When I say I genuinely love these kids, I I genuinely really do. It's not about what they can do for me on the football field is about what I can help them with in life. <laughs> Landscape has changed in football. Once upon a time, you guys never attacked college players. Now they're making more money than y'all. And some of y'all are envious and jealous about that. So you're on the tech. It was hands off a college player because he's an amateur, you remember? Remember that, guys? Now it's hands on, go at them, any kind of way you want. They're making more money than me and I'm mad about it. When you attack them, attack them, attack them, these guys are sensitive, they've never been attacked. They hadn't gone through what a grown man, what I've been going through with y'all for years. They haven't done that. So it is what it is. I know you're going to do your job and what you must do, but your job does not say in attack. The personal stuff, leave it to be personal because if we start flipping the script on y'all, you wouldn't like it. I can easy. Thank you, Lord, for stopping me there. there. Ooh, that was almost a good one. That would have went viral. Thanks for watching we hope you likes our hard work. Please like and share our videos to support us so we can keep updating you with the latest news and stories and leave a comment below and share your thoughts.